and in today's video I am going to be showing you some really cool room decor DIYs but there's a twist because all of these things are upcycled from stuff that you can buy in Ikea. I don't think I've seen anyone do anything like this before so I'm gonna try it. All of this stuff is from their like marketplace area so it's really cheap and it's just basic kitchen stuff and homeware stuff. Most of it was under four pounds except one item which I have already had for a really long time but they still do it so I'm gonna show you how I upcycled that too. I really hope you guys like this video and if you do I have a bunch more IKEA stuff that I can do this with for another video so, so do let me know down in the comments if you thought that this was a good idea and you would like to see some more because who doesn't like Ikea? Am I right? <laughs> Without further ado, let's just get straight on to the video. So for this first DIY, I'm taking a table runner and I actually wanted a placemat but I couldn't find one but this works just as well and I'm making a banner. So I'm cutting it to size and you can just eyeball this really. And then I'm taking this pre-cut piece of dowel and I am taking it and putting it on the clean edge with some fabric glue. And then to hold that in place while it's drying, I use some hair clips just to secure it. I then turned to the raw edge, making sure it was the right way round. I turned this into a triangle shape just by folding over the corners and also once again, applying some fabric glue to make sure it's stuck in place and then pressing down really hard to make it stick. And this is the shape of the banner you are left with. Now onto the letters. I actually traced these from a Word document. I picked a font and wrote it out and then used my laptop screen to trace it because my printer was running out of ink. And secondly, because I couldn't center them properly. So this way I had more control. And then I cut out the letters, making sure I didn't lose the insides of the letters. And to adhere the template onto the fabric, I used this scrapbooking adhesive. And this makes sure that you get all of those edges flat down onto the fabric it's not damaging to the fabric it comes off really easily but it makes sure the paint won't go underneath and you can also do this with the small spaces from the inside of the letters I think it worked really well actually so this is what it looks like ready to be painted and I use spray paint but you can use regular acrylic paint if you would like halfway through I decided to add some protection to the sides of the banner to make sure it didn't go anywhere else a little bit too late but whatever and then when you peel it off it looks like this I decided that the letters didn't stand out enough so I wanted to add a bit of glitter but I went a little bit overboard and added way too much glitter so you could do paint, you could do glitter, you could do both, but I'm just using Mod Podge to outline the letters and add glitter on top. It was kind of an unnecessary step, but I really like the way it came out. And this looks so good on the wall. All you have to do is add a little bit of twine and it's ready to be hung up. And it honestly just reminds me of something you'd see on the Urban Outfitters website. next DIY is just to show you how to upcycle something really easily and it's this spice rack that was three pounds and I basically just spray painted it blue and then spray painted the rail silver then decided I wanted it gold instead and I put it all together and it looks like this and you can actually hang this on the wall and I think it would look really nice in a gallery wall but I have it on my desk with my tea lights in it the reason I wanted to do it was to display my nail polishes but they kind of overflow so I didn't do that but I think it looks really cool and mounted on the wall this would look even better This is just a basic draining rack for a kitchen for your utensils and I've decided to make this into a photo display. So all I did was spray paint it gold to match with the rest of my room and basically then I just 
put it on the wall. I've used blue tech, but don't do that because it will fall off. I just did it for this video until I could get some actual mounting hooks for the wall. But make sure you mount it with nails or hooks or even command strips because they are strong enough to hold it. But this is so cool because you don't need any tacks to hold up your photos so you won't ruin them. And I've just added some postcards and some Polaroids and I just think it looks so cool and it's so easy to change out all of your pictures and your notes. And once again, this was inspired by something I saw on the Urban Outfitters website and I was like, I could make that for much cheaper. <laughs> to this desktop chest of drawers which I have had forever and as you can tell I've already DIY'd it and it looked like this to begin with but I decided to paint it pink and I actually really hate the color now so it is time to give it a fresh lick of paint so I'm going to show you what I did this time and all I'm doing is adding a coat of gold spray paint like the rest of this video and all I needed was one because it was really opaque and this is just a, such an easy way to update it and it was so quick it only took me about three minutes I'm also making sure I spray paint all of these little platforms for where the drawers go but I didn't paint the drawers because I really like that wooden effect I think it goes really well with the gold spray paint and this is what it looks like I like it a lot more now it's more toned down and goes with the rest of my room <laughs> Lastly, this is just a little IKEA hack. This placemat is meant for a dining room table, but I've used it as decoration to display the chest of drawers on, and you could just put some flowers or ornaments on it. I just think it looks really cool and natural, and I just like the effect and the texture of it. So guys, that is everything. What did you think? I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, obviously, and tell me in the comments down below what you thought about it, which one was your favorite, are you gonna try any of these things? I wanted to make sure it was budget friendly so that everyone could do some of these DIYs, and I hope you guys live near an Ikea because it would really suck if you didn't because Ikea is bae. Okay, so that is everything. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Also, that will be down below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. So I'll see you next time. Bye.